It's the Mordor faction! <music> Greetings and hello there everyone, it's me, your Middle Earth dad, Nooch Too Good, and I'm here today to talk about uh, a faction, the Mordor faction to be more specific. As we move forward with the game, and you know, we're unlocking Elrond, things are going on in the game right now, I thought it'd be a good time to step back and take a look at some of the other factions in the game, what they're doing, what they're going to look like when we're, we're eventually able to get these guys up and running. The Mordor faction is one that I think a lot of us agree is going to be a very effective faction. Do I want to, <laughs> I want to theory craft and figure out who they're going to kill? I, I'm not good at this, so you don't want me here theory crafting. But we can take a look at the team and figure out how this team is going to work together, the fun they can have. Is Shagrat any good? We're spending a lot of our precious supply material on Shagrat on a basically daily basis. Let's take a look at this team and see how it's going to work. We start right away with a Gage Ironhide. You guys know that I love Ironhide. I got my Ironhide. My boy is big and beefy. My boy damages everybody. He's all about doing damage and staying alive forever. Attack the target enemy for 150% damage. If they're below 50% health, instead deal 200% damage. And this just stacks more and more damage as it goes along. That's his uh, just basic spear bash. The taste of iron is first AoE. Attack all enemies for 155% damage and dispel one boon from each enemy. Now, none of this is a surprise. And open, hang on there because we want to see how this is going to work with the rest of the Mordor team once this team is put together. Um... And this just, again, keeps stacking damage as it goes along. And he just keeps all these, all of his abilities, his Rampage AoE. Attack all enemies for 170% damage. 10% additional damage for each Mordor ally below 100% health. When we think about that, and it just keeps going up damage. When we think about this, you know, if he's got Mordor allies, and we realize that the biggest health target on the other team and the biggest armor target is likely going to be the Ironhide. So your opponent's going to have to target the other guys on the team. And while they're doing that, if they're bringing one or more of them below 50% health, below 100% health, excuse me, below even 100% health. So if you have an AOE on the other side, boom, uh, you may be getting 20%. You might be getting an extra 100% damage because look at this. Extra 10%, so it's 10% now. It'll be 10% more when I maxed out. So extra 20% damage for each Mordor ally below 100% health. I guess that'd be an extra 80% damage. So it could include himself or not. We don't really know, but anywhere from an 80 to 100% bonus damage on this once he has Mordor allies. And of course, Child of Mordor gained 10% armor and 5% max health, and he's got his Giant's Burden ability. Okay, we know what's we know what's in store there. I've done a lot on the Ironhide. That's not surprising. Let's take a look at the rest of this team. Grimlers. Grimlers is your attacker. The attacks with a dagger. Shadow Mor Shadow Mordor, a uh, orc attacker dagger. Let's take a look at all these abilities. Cheap shot, and this is just I, I think this is just straight damage. Attack the target enemy for 100% damage. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Now, he does start doing bonus damage per, per every Bane. Now, this doesn't say Bane. Um, this doesn't say if it's a Bane on him or a Bane on the target. I tend to think it's a Bane on the target. Per each Bane the target has, he's going to deal 5% and then 10% more damage. But this is just going to stack up damage to where it's doing 120 uh, to over to like 220 over 200% damage. We take a look again at evil opportunity. My goodness, attack twice for 60%. That means basic stuff. And then he's going to gain one stack of counterattack when you start upgrading this, and maybe even two stacks of counterattack. So it'll counterattack twice once you max it out. Savage cut. It's just damage. <laughs> he's just jumping in and doing damage with his dagger. He's inflicting bleed here when you upgrade it. So damage and bleed, that's it. Now, his passive below the belt. 25% chance to gain advantage. What is advantage? A guaranteed crit on the next attack. After attacking out of turn or inclusion on a team up. So we need to watch the other characters here to see if they have any out of turn abilities. Now we do see uh, we got a counter attack here. So whenever he counter attacks, he's going to have a 25% chance to gain advantage after doing that. And that chance is going to go to 35, 45, 55, 65. Eventually have a 75% chance to gain advantage. And there will be more abilities down there. It'll probably be eventually have a 100% chance to gain advantage when attacking out of turn or in a team up. Now let's keep going here. 
uh, Rakma. Rakma is a support one-headed heavy, and well, he used to be called the Mordor Engineer back in the days of the beta. He kind of looks like an engineer. He's got his helmet on. Looks like he's putting stuff together. He's gonna build things with his wheel and his uh, and his wrench back there. But let's take a look. Get to work. Again, attack the target for 100% damage. Just damage. Inflict weaken. Weaken is going to reduce the target, is going to make the target do less damage, 50% less damage when they attack. And it's going to keep doing more damage and eventually have that Weaken sit there for two turns. Uh, Blasting Fire, he's going to throw a big big bomb grenade here. Attack all enemies. Those so AoE for 100% damage. And he's going to be he's going to be inflicting burning here eventually. Burning. Now you can see that these banes he's inflicting, weaken, burning, are going to uh, are going to make uh, our boy our boy Grimlers here do even more damage. Where is it here? Is it up here? Yes, more damage per bane. So every time you inflict a bane, I mean if you get four, five, six banes on these guys, Grimlers could really come in and start doing some serious damage. So inflicting burning, putrid gas, attack all enemies for 100% damage. If they're burning, they take 120% damage. We're also inflicting weak-minded, which reduces their resistance, which means they take Banes more readily. They're, they can't resist those Banes as much. So they're burning. He's just doing more damage. So he's doing, he's doing a couple of AoE attacks here with just putting... He's always putting Banes on. Every, every ability is putting Banes on the other team. And then his passive, he's gaining 5% focus, which is allowing him to land more Banes. That's like a potency if you're from Galaxy Heroes. It's focus. He's focused in. He can land the Banes more readily. More damage. 50% chance to grant deadly to one random Mortar Squad member. That's going to increase their critical chance by 30%. Imagine that on Ironhide or your buddy Grimblers, and they're going to be doing... A, well, they got a much better chance to hit for crit, which is a nice thing as well. And there is your boy, Arachma, supporting. It does... So, I'm guessing with support that his AoEs aren't going to be doing, like, a truckload of damage. But instead, just throwing those Banes around to everybody. We're going to come back to Shagrat in a minute. Let's take a look here at Ujan. Ujan is your... Well, he's a support, right? A uh, healer. Oh, he's your healer. Here's your team healer. One-headed heavy. He's got the whip. He's got the... Uh, 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 I don't know what you call that, a, uh, uh, a mace with a bunch of stabs on it, I don't know. Spiteful swipe, attack the target, so again, a basic attack, doing basic damage. He's going to be inflicting slow with this, he's going to be inflicting slow with this. So, he's going to slow down with whoever he's attacking, again, it's more Banes to feed uh, the Grimlers' basic ability to do more damage. A little motivation. Grant one stack of defensive to a random ally, which blocks the next hit. Which doesn't mean it stops the next hit. It just means it reduces the damage on the next hit. I think it's by about 50%. So, that's going to be helpful there. Call that ally to attack the enemy target. Now, let's think of who you might be calling in to attack the enemy target. And get defensive. And get regeneration. And maybe get a second stack of defensive to make them super hard to kill in the game. Who might that apply to? Hmm. Perhaps your iron hide. So, uh, just FYI, this guy was called, was he called the troll handler? I think, no, he wasn't. That's the other guy, but he was called something that had to do. Anyway, he's going to call in iron hide for assist is what he's going to be doing. And I guess that the iron hide isn't there, which seems unlikely with the amount of armor and, and health the iron hide has. He'll be calling in Grimblers to assist as well. If nobody else, he calls himself to assist. Forced March. Heal all allies for 100% health plus 10% of his max health. Grant all squad members concentration, which increases their focus. So they're going to be able to land more of their Banes. And you can see... Um, and here it reduces the stamina, which means it just goes faster. He's going to be healing up the entire team. So he's going to keep this team. He'll keep the team healed up. He'll keep the team assisted. He'll keep the team with defensive, with regeneration. He will uh, and be inflicting slow on the enemy and his passive, the Mercy of Mordor. When an ally drops below 30% health, a 5% chance per enemy with Banes. So if there are five enemies with Banes, it's going to be a 15% chance or 25% chance. It's not super exciting, but to grant one stack of Unbreakable. Now, we know Unbreakable is that little diamond that appears above the character. The character's left with one health, one health if they're dealt with a death blow. So, it's going to keep people from dying. So, defensive, regeneration, Unbreakable. He's the healer. He's keeping the team from dying. And we add on that, they're going to get more of a block chance. More of a block chance. Um, so, he's going to gain block chance. When ally drops a little bit. So, I guess the ally is going to gain block chance. 
They're gonna get more on break. So he's just he's he's keeping the team alive. But let's go look at your boy Shagrat. Shagrat is a guy, by the way, that you're farming in the supply shop right here with your arena currency and i think he's the main guy to get in here we've been farming aomer a lot of us i think shagrat is going to be your boy let's get in there and take a look at shagrat's abilities he is the leader of the mordor faction i really like what he's i really like shagrat's abilities. so let's look at that leader ability. I, I really like this let the lads play leader ability squad members gain two percent turn meter i already like it there are no speed variations in this game to date so when you see a turn meter influence, like a slow down, a speed up, a turn meter gain, I already like that ability. Squad members gain 2% turn meter per bane when hitting an enemy with a bane. So if that, so think about this, we're adding focus, we're dropping bane. So if a character has three or four banes on them, when our, when our team hits them, boom, three banes are gonna gain 6% turn meter, four, you're gonna gain 8% turn meter, up to an additional 4% turn, so only 4% turn meter there, but it keeps increasing. The maximums keep going up, 4% maximum, 4% maximum, 4% maximum. So that's gonna go up to uh, eight, 12, up to 16% maximum turn meter. Um, let's see here, uh, Bane, 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 okay, whatever. So, and it's gonna be gaining uh, more turn meter per Bane, sorry. So 2%, and then it's gonna go to 3%, 4%. So 4% times, you get the idea. For a max of 16%. You get the idea. He's going to be giving our team turn meter across the board whenever they hit somebody with a Bane. Here's just an attack with damage. He's going to be inflicting bleed. On turn, take damage based on the health percentage uh, of, the, of the, the character's max health. There's more bleed, more damage. That's what's going on with his basic, the filthy blade. Final order. Attack the... Uh, well, maybe the final order is going to launch a big giant laser beam across the galaxy to destroy the New Republic that we don't know who they are. Whole separate story. Attack the target enemy for 130% damage. If Shagrat has Merciless, when an ally is at or below 10% health, it will sacrifice the most wounded ally to deal more damage. I remember this ability. Uh, if, the if Shagrat has Merciless... Let me read that again. When an ally is at or below 10% health, Final order will sacrifice the most wounded ally to deal more damage. So I guess when an ally drops below 10% health, then Shagrat gets merciless. And when Shagrat has merciless and uses final order, he attacks for 330% damage. And that keeps going up. 360, 390, 420, 460% damage. And he's actually gaining 200% base damage. So... 230% damage, 330% damage, and then multiply that by four. So this is going to be a one-shot. This is going to be your one-shot. <laughs> and, oh my goodness, and he's going to be granting might to all squad members for one turn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So imagine, imagine a guy who, as so, so as soon as somebody else, now there's no tanks on this team, so I would imagine you need to go in and target Shagrat like crazy until he's dead right off the bat. But if you don't, like if you're playing the AI and somebody else gets below 10% health, he's going to one-shot somebody and grant might to the rest of the team. Wow, Shagrat. Splash of green. Attack the target enemy for 100% damage. Inflict one stack of poison. Poison is you take damage equal to target's max health. Incoming healing is reduced by 10%. So you reduce the healing and they take damage on their turn. If Grimlers is in the party, which we see he will be, this attack will instead hit all enemies for 100% and inflicts one stack of poison for one turn on all targets. Targets already afflict, affected by bleed, burning, or poison, which we've seen other characters will be giving them, will receive an additional stack of poison for one turn. Wow, so if Grimlers is there, this is going to do a, an, it's an AoE. It's an AoE poison damage. It's, I mean, that's awesome. Orc of the Eye gain 5% damage. If an ally is at 10% health or less, he gains Merciless. Um, merciless when an ally is, okay, so that's what we're talking about. I, I kind of assumed that, but now we know it. So there it is. Okay, uh, now what I don't see a lot of here, now this is going to be interesting. And not, uh, Shagrat's amazing. Shagrat's amazing. What I don't see a lot of is who was it that when called, yeah. So when we got Grim, is this Grimlers? I don't remember the name. When, when attacking out of turn or inclusion in a team up, he doesn't have a team up yet in the game. The only out of turn attacks that he's listed for are the counter attack here. And if, 
and sorry if uh i think it's not is it rockman no it's gonna be uh your this boy okay <laughs> their names man ujan calls him to assist but i think you're, you want to be calling ironhide so i don't know i don't know about that ability that seems like a little bit of a kind of a ability in the air a a, a a unique or a passive in the air right now for Grimler's not exciting but overall it looks like some excitement here some turn meter a bunch of banes and boons a bunch of damage from Shagrat, Grimler's, Ironhide, just doing a bunch of damage. These guys supporting and healing them, leading them along the way. I'm looking forward to getting these team together down the road. Right now, you guys know, I'm just saving for Elrond all the way. Hey, let me know. Has anybody out there leveled up their Mordor team? If you had it, have, I'd love to get some footage. We can make another video just showing them in action. I'd love to show some of these extra teams in action. I don't have... You know, I, I, I can't take the time to upgrade a lot of teams right now. So if you've got a full Isengard team, if you have a full Ranger team, um, if you got full teams, if you have a full, um, a full, uh, what are they, the uh, Rohan team, I'd love to see full versions of some of these teams in action if you guys have them. Hobbits, with Strider, if you can give me footage, hit me up on Discord, drop me a video, you can or upload the video to YouTube where I can show it on there. I'd love to get that stuff from you guys. Please, if you can provide that, that'd be great. I hope everybody has a great day. I hope everybody remembers always to like and subscribe, and we'll put a couple videos up there for you. You can watch more stuff. In the middle, you can also like and subscribe. Have a great day, everybody. I will talk to you soon, and of course, always remember, a nooch too good.